there's something I need to get off my chest. I, I need to tell you all the truth about how Plantin died. So it had this fellow named Plantin, right? This is before the zombie apocalypse in Trinidad and Tobago. Plantin was a mechanic from Takarigo. He lived on our street. A tin tall Indian fellow with crazy eyes and crazy hair. He used to walk weird, like when he was walking, he, he used to raise his arms a lot higher than usual. Always used to heal out Plantin because he was kind of strange. So it was it was interesting to heal him out and be like, Plantin, what are you saying, boy? And he could turn to you and be like, I good. Plantin, how things? I did. Plantin, what are you doing here? I live in here. I never understood what he was saying. Anyway, when the zombie apocalypse first happened, I was in Kuva. As you all know, Kuva was hit pretty hard. My wife turned into a zombie and I had to kill her. My mother-in-law turned into a zombie and I had to kill her. And then my kids and my father-in-law turned into zombies, so I locked them in a room and went looking for a vaccine. My plan was to get to Mount Hope Hospital, but walking along the highway, I realized that it would be a terrible idea to go to Mount Hope. Mount Hope is always crowded. So I started walking towards Sandy Grandi. You're probably wondering why I didn't head west into Port of Spain. Heading west would mean that I had to walk past Sawa, Bova Junction and the Beatum and there was no way that I was going to get robbed during a zombie apocalypse. So I started walking east towards Sandy Grandi. There are empty cars parked on all four lanes, dead bodies everywhere, zombies walking to and fro, oh, and their eyes are red, you know there's zombies when their eyes are red. It took me about four or five hours to get to Paji. That's where FedEx is, there's a primary school, a radio station, and a big picture of Sat Barrage holding a cricket bat. There was an army truck and dead soldiers everywhere. I found a rifle with bullets and a handgun. In Mokoya, I passed the Indian Expo, which for some weird reason was open. Then I could see Trinity Mall in the distance and I decided to divert to Takarigua, where my parents lived, just to see if they were alive. When I got to my parents' home, my dad was lying on the ground eating out my mother. He had turned into a zombie. You know his eyes are all red and there's blood and hair in his mouth. So I shot him in his head. Then just to be safe, I shot my mother too. I gathered all the groceries I could find and as I was walking out the house, I saw planting. He was coming towards me wearing his blue coverall, he's covered in grease, looking dirty. And out of habit, I said to him, Plantin, what are you doing here, boy? I live in here. And in that moment, I realized that I didn't know whether or not Plantin had turned into a zombie or whether he was a human being. Meanwhile, he's coming closer and I keep shouting at him, Plantin, don't come any closer, boy. I got hungry food. So it turns out that Plantin hadn't turned into a zombie. Of course, I only realized this after I shot and killed him. I feel so much better now. Thanks. Thanks for listening.